In this video, I will show you how to take the washer apart to clean the inside of the tub. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet and keep it disconnected. Let me show you how to open the top panel. Go behind the washer and remove this metal plate and these two screws. Then do the following. Open the door on the washer, pull the top panel forward, lift it up, push it back and lift it, and lean it against the wall, making sure that it's not going to fall down and break some wires, okay? Remove the fabric softener dispenser. Remove the agitator dog's cover. You could use a needle nose pliers to remove it. Remove the agitator holding screw. You will need a socket wrench size 716 to remove it. Grab the agitator from the bottom so it won't come apart when you pull it out. And take it out. Next you need to remove the top cover. You can make something like this to help you unhook the top cover. I use an old butter knife, heat it up and bend it and cut it to make this tool. It should look something like this when you finish making it. And this is the way that this homemade tool could help you unhook the top cover without breaking it. This is the way that the top cover snaps in place when you push it down. Now that you know how, go ahead and remove the top cover. Unhook all the holding tabs, being careful not to break any of the tabs. And take it out. Next you need to remove the spanner nut that is holding the spin drum in place. To remove the spanner nut, you need to use a wrench like this. Check the link on the description of this video on where to get one. You will also need a heavy hammer like this. Go ahead and remove the spanner nut. You will need to turn the spanner nut counterclockwise to take it out. Be careful you don't hit the spin drum with the hammer or you could chip the porcelain. Sometimes it could be hard to remove the spin drum, so you need to wiggle it side to side until you break it loose from the dry block. Then you can pull it out. Now you have access to clean the inside of the tub, the spin drum, and anything else that you want to clean inside of the washer. When you finish cleaning the machine, all you have to do is put it back together. Put the spin drum in place. As you could see, I didn't clean my machine that good. All I want to do was show you how you could do yours, okay? Now you need to secure the spin drum in place with the spanner nut.
Heat the spanner wrench a couple times to tighten the spanner nut, but don't overdo it. Put the top cover in place and align it. And then push down to lock it in place. Now you need to install the agitator. Put the agitator in place. Make sure you push it all the way in. Tighten the agitator holding screw to secure the agitator in place. Hold the bottom part of the agitator so the shaft will not move when you tighten the screw. Next you need to install the agitator ducts cover. Clean it real good and lubricate the rubber seal with dish detergent. Then put it in. Make sure that when you push it, it's seated in place. This way it will prevent water from going into the agitator ducts and ruin them. Put the fabric softener dispenser in the agitator and push it down until it locks in place. Lower the top panel, move it back and forward until it locks in place. Close the door, go behind the washer, secure the top panel with the two screws, and install the cover. Connect the washer to the wall outlet and you're done cleaning the inside of your washing machine. If you'd like to support this channel, you could use the PayPal me link in the description of the video. If you'd like to see more videos, click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. This is Angel the Appliance Man.